Uh, good morning, everyone. This is Bob the Mudgy, and uh, there's Judy the Mudgy. And this is Mudgy's Love Vermont, a special uh, series that has been added on to Mudgy's Love Disney. But today, my daily vlog is covering the Walk for the Cure for Susan G. Coleman. So, I hope you have your walking shoes on, because we're about to go for a walk. Jewelers in Manchester. We're here at the start line, which is surprising, and we're right on time, but they seem to be a little delayed. But this is the Susan J. Coleman 10K run and 5K uh, walk, and we're taking part in the walking part because I gave up running a long time ago. Uh, anything that looks like a run from me would be from a snake or a monster chasing me. Uh, I just don't run. So I'm saving those strides for emergencies. And this will definitely be a walk. As you can see a lot of people. And we see one protester. There is one protester here. I'm celebrating 15 You have your good walking shoes on. We're off for a tour of Vermont. This is good practice for Disney. These are the guys that saved my life. 
and are a very important part of the walkathon. Me by name, they're over the loudspeaker. It's Judy Lawson, please report. And then one of those guys is like I'm looking for Judy Lawson, but I was already at the camp. Well, we're back here. <laughs> My walk is over, and it's an incredible story because I actually made it maybe a third Survivor of the way. Survivor number 47. And I was keeling over, and I met with a sheriff who then called for relief for me, and they put me in a sheriff's car, which I will describe later. And I was able to spend time right over here in the London Dairy Rescue Squad, and those are the guys that helped me. Those guys that you met, and I'll have a full description later on in uh, the vlog, but we're over. I promised yesterday uh, just a little explanation as to what happened on the walkathon. Uh, I made it maybe two thirds of the first mile and all of a sudden the sun was just too much for me and the hot pavement and I started hyperventilating and we got to a kind of a checkpoint and I pulled myself out of the walkathon and went for some aid. The only aid they had for me was uh, a sheriff who called another sheriff and if you've never ridden in a sheriff car let me tell you uh, you don't want to. So I had never really thought about a career in crime, but uh, yesterday taught me that perhaps a career in crime would be uh, a good idea not to embark in just because that ride back to the aid center uh, in the back of the sheriff car, they put me in the back seat and they opened the door and First of all, it's all fiberglass, and there's like a fiberglass bench back there with uh, no cushy seats, no leg room. Uh, so I was kind of sprawled half horizontally and half vertically, and then my feet got caught, um, my sneakers got caught in the tight, very tight uh, fiberglass from the seat to the back of the front seat, and then it's fiberglass all the way up so that it's really hard to talk to someone through fiberglass and I had the feeling that I was in like uh, a tank and suffocating. So actually the ride in the back of the police car was uh, maybe worse than the whole incident that took place on the road, which will encourage me next year to really work hard because I'm not going to go through this again. Well, they took me to the aid station, which were the um, London Dairy Volunteer Rescue and those guys were absolutely tremendous and they took good care of me and it seemed that I was dealing with heat stroke and I realized that I had not drunk enough water the day before or the day before that and of course even though it was not a really terribly humid day it was a very hot sunny day and pavement reflects sun and I was on the pavement. So after a half hour of having um, blood pressure taken and endless um, finger sticks, because I am a type one diabetic, and saying my name, uh, I was cleared to leave. And so the rest of this video is with those people. But I would say that this volunteer ambulance corps from London, London Dairy um, is the only volunteer corps in the state of Vermont and five years ago when Judy and I ran in this race and she fell uh, they took care of her knee and they did a spectacular job and we're very very grateful to them and also to the hundreds of people who turned out the survivors 
to the Susan G. Coleman. Uh, you're going to see coming up the award ceremony and our team won the award for the most money raised in the state of Vermont and uh, the Mudgies um, are very proud of that. But all the people who put their time and effort into working uh, for the G Susan G. Coleman, thank you. Coming up, you're going to see Miss Vermont and Bill Rogers and less of me and more of the awards and the things that are going on. So once again, to the volunteer guys who took care of me yesterday, thank you very much. have Miss Vermont who was here for the Susan uh, Coleman uh, walk and Miss Vermont I know you have someone that you're remembering today I am yes I have um, my grandma who is a two-time breast cancer survivor who unfortunately just lost her battle to colon cancer and then my aunt when I was seven years old passed away of breast cancer as well Wow well this is a tremendous cause uh, it's wonderful to see you I got your picture in the Montpelier parade oh yeah uh, yeah, I was there. I did so many parades over the 4th of July. It was yeah. so much fun. Ron Pillar was definitely one of the best ones. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, of Vermont raised more money than any other team in the state of Vermont for the Susan G. Coleman race. Judy, who was celebrating her 15th anniversary of the cure, of being cured of breast cancer, and what do you think about this? I mean, we had an interview with um, Miss Vermont and with, uh, got to meet Bill Rogers and you got to see it all here, so um, I'll have plenty more details about my experience in the sheriff's car and my little trip to the ambulance, but everybody feels fine, I feel fine, the race is over, and we won.
We raise more money than anyone else in the state of Vermont for Susan G. Coleman. So, uh, a real accomplishment. And I'll have a wrap up later in this section of my live blog, Mudgies in Vermont, um, which is the same as Mudgies in Disney. Same people, just different place. We'll see you soon.